Okay, next let's look at how to identify the numbers of uh, particles in an ion. So what are ions? They're atoms with a positive or negative charge. And what gives atoms the charge to become ions? That's because atoms can lose electrons or gain electrons. Now, if you recall, electrons carry negative charge, right? So if an atom loses electrons, the atom loses the negative charge. So it becomes positive. That's a positive ion. If an atom gains electrons, electrons again are negative. So this atom gains negative charge. So it's going to become an, a negative ion. I know it sounds very complicated, but really just remember if you gain negative charge, then you become negative, right? If you lose negative charge, you become positive. Now, I have some examples of different ions here. This is sodium ion, chloride ion, and a calcium ion. So I'm going to give you a few seconds. Um, if you need a little bit of practice, and just tell me whether the atom loses or gains electrons to become these ions. Mm -hmm. OK, so I'll give you five seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, now sodium ion carries a positive charge. So that means sodium loses electrons, right? Loses electrons, mm -hmm. it loses the negative charge, mm -hmm. so, it becomes pos so it becomes a positive mm -hmm. ion. Chlorine gains mm -hmm. electron, so it becomes a mm -hmm. negative chloride ion. Mm -hmm. And the calcium, it loses electron, so it becomes calcium ion. Now we call positively charged ions cations mm -hmm. and negatively charged ions anions. Now there's a trick that I tell everyone. Cations, cats, mm -hmm. cats are warm. It gives you a positive feeling, so cations are positive ions. Anions is spelled like onion, and when you cut onion, it makes you cry. So anions are negatively charged ions. Um, so that's what ions are. And now let's look at some specific rules. So how do you identify the number of these particles in an ion? Now, protons and neutrons, they do not change whether we're talking about atoms or ions. Those numbers are fixed. Because be between atoms and ions, mm -hmm. you only gain or lose electrons, right? So the number of electrons is the only number that changes. There is no change to protons or neutrons. Mm -hmm. So they will be the same as atoms. Mm -hmm. Now, what about electrons? How do you determine the number of electrons in an ion? For positive ions, mm -hmm. the number of electrons is going to be the number of electrons minus the positive charge. And then for negative ions, it's going to be the number of electrons in the atom plus the number of negative charge. So I'm going to give you a quick example. So let's say we do chlorine. Chlorine with a negative charge is chloride ion. We know that chlorine atom has 17 electrons. So how many electrons does chloride carry? So this is a negative ion, right? So the number of electrons is going to be whatever is in the original atom, 17, plus the number of negative charge, right? Negative charge is 1, so 17 plus 1, that's 18. Okay? Now, when you only see one plus sign or one minus sign, that's just that just means one electron, okay? Uh, if you see two plus or two minus, that means there's change of two electrons, right? Same thing here. If it's a three, then that's a change of three electrons. So either plus or minus three. Okay. Now, again, I know, you know, the equations look very complicated, but it's really simple. It's kind of what we talked about on the previous slide. If you are negative ions, that means you gain electrons, right? So, of course, it's uh, whatever electrons you have originally plus the electrons you gain, right? So negative ions, you 
add the negative charge to get the number of electrons. And for positive ions, the atoms lose the electrons, right? So of course, it's the original number of electrons and minus the, the electrons that you lose. Okay, practice questions, lithium and oxygen. I'll give you about 10 seconds. Originally, lithium has three electrons, and then lithium can lose one electron and become a positive ion. So because it loses electron, so it's going to be three minus one, and that's two. So you will find two electrons in lithium ion. Oxygen has six electrons, but oxygen atom can become oxygen ion, which carries two negative charge. And that means oxygen atom gains two electrons, right? Because it's a two minus charge. So that's going to be six plus two, right? Originally, the original six electrons plus the two electrons gained. So that's going to be a total of eight electrons. Okay, this is how you determine how many uh, electrons, protons, and neutrons in an ion. So again, these two numbers do not change going to be the same as the numbers for a regular atom. And then the electrons, you would just do minus or plus, right, based on whether the electron is positive or negative. All right, I hope this video is helpful. This is part one, and it's about how to identify the number of particles in an atom or an ion. And then in the second video, we're going to talk about how to use the periodic table to determine the properties of elements. All right, guys, I will see you next time.